Ayo Yabas, Privet, Vuyu. Hello, welcome again. If you've just joined us or you've just come back from a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee. First round. We're here at the Sports Palace in Minsk, at the capital of Belarus, lock and load around the world with fight code. And here we are, moving already into the fourth match, the fourth fight. And we've got a big fight, the crowd, 10,000 crowds sat here. And you can't hear anyone but my Bolton dulcet tones. The crowd is quiet for the storm that's about to rise. Edwin Kibbutz from Estonia in the blue corner facing him, the formidable and one of my favourite fighters in the fight called Dragons. Famous for that high kick that you've just seen. Yuri Abbas Amatni, he was my favourite in 2011. He just seemed to rise and rise and rise. Rather like a cake in an oven. It rises to the top. The cream of the crop. This man, I love him. Not in a gay way. Belarus represents this man, 2011 Dragons champion. 33 fights, going into this 34th. Just watch. Do you know what? I feel like being quiet for once and just watching these two fighters, but I can't. I'm paid to talk. What a privileged position. I thank the people who have put me here. For Carlo Di Blasi, Paolo, everybody in the Fight Code team, thank you. This is an absolute privilege to be sat here ringside live to watch these athletes. These modern day gladiators, these fighters from around the world and especially here in the Eastern Bloc where tonight we're featuring some of the best from this part of the world and they do breed them tough. So first round both fighters just testing the water, putting the toe in the water to see whether they can go for a swim. And I tell you what, I think there'll be some big splashes in this water soon because these two fighters can give and take punishment. Solid shots, you can hear that all right. There's 10,000 people in here and I tell you what, They've gone quiet, you know why? Because they want to hear that bish, that bosh, and that bash and that crash of fists, feet, and knees as they sink into their opponent's legs, body, and head. Both fighters picking the shots cleanly, precisely, absolutely on the button every time. Look at that, right above where I'm sat here. This is awesome. Fight number four, the fight called fights. Three three-minute rounds. The referee is having a good time in there because he what is he? He's away from the fight. That means he lets them get them. Oh, beautiful low kick. And the crowd, 10,000 of them have just applauded that low kick. But down goes Yuri in reply. So 25 seconds remaining of this first three minutes of a three three-minute round fight called Rule Fight. And I'm in certainly good company here. Watching these two fighters compete. Edwin Kibbutz, Estonia in the blue. Blue gloves, white shorts with the black trim. Yuri Abasmetni coming in with just what looks like a pair of shorts he'd wear in the beach. I'll go surfing him. I need to buy that guy some nice Chop D or Sam D shorts, I think. So if you're listening in Thailand, Mr. Chop D man and Mr. Sam D man, let's do, let's do Yuri some nice sexy shorts, shall we? Get him a pair. Looks like he needs some. Not that he can't afford it, because this guy, <laughs> Yuri Vesmetny, actually won. Well, it, there was 100,000 prize money he took away in December. Uh, when I say 100,000, he shared it. 20,000 to his opponent, Sutsukorn from Thailand. He took away 80,000 US dollars. That's a lovely little, nice little holiday in a little car somewhere, I imagine. Holiday around the world, I would, that's what I would have spent it on. Seconds out. We've seen some good techniques there coming at the end of that fight, both trading great low kicks. Taking the fighters off balance. Nice touch of gloves, here we go, round two of a scheduled three. Second round. With an extra round if it goes to a draw. Will it see a draw? <laughs> Solid shots, OMG, in they go. So Kibus. He's written across the front of his shot. <laughs> and Yuri Abes Ametni. And again, that silence falls upon this capacity 10,000 seater stadium here at the Sport Palace. And Minsk, Belarus, the capital. Ooh, two great body punches there from Edwin. 
going for the low kick. Jury there just seems to be biding his time, looking for shots. There's that beautiful textbook, and I think that's his, basically his trademark. And I tell you what, he's took out some big names with that kick, that high kick. I've seen him knock a few people out with that. Like I said, very accurate with him. Throws, whatever he throws, does not waste. But I'll tell you what, Edwin is coming forward in this second round. First round, I would say 10-10, but looking quite strong in this second round, Edwin, because he knows what is in front of him and he's taking the bit between his teeth and he is going for it. Now, whether Yuri is leaving it for the third round, but to me, the second round is looking impressive for the blue corner. Nice inside low kick, cross both legs there from Yuri. Well, like I said, don't blink. As I've seen this happen before with Yuri, he takes Soaks a little bit up and then gives it back. Which is a true testament of a real grit of a fighter. It's not about giving, it's about taking as well. Because if you can't take punishment, you can be the best exponent of offence. But if you've got no defence, you'll get exposed. So here we go. Now, 50 seconds remaining of this second round. And to me, Edvin has been putting on a little bit more effort in this second round than Yuri. Oh, right across the groin, I heard that. Oh, shall he count them or shall he rub them? If there's two there still, then good. <laughs> yes, they do wear groin guards, but yes, it still hurts ladies, in case you're asking. I know it's not the same with the lady garden. But I'll tell you what, it certainly hurts when it goes downstairs to the town halls. Like I said, it was an accidentally trying to go across both legs, but caught him. But these guys are made of true grit, stone and iron, and these guys from, from Belarus and from, as this guy's from Estonia, are basically everywhere in the, uh, oof, nice left hook. Closing seconds now of this second round. Nice left body kick. Good body shots again, and boom, right on the bell. Second round. Wow. Now that is a tough one for the judges, that second round, because me, the way I had it, I do feel that the blue corner just came a stronger early doors. Yuri was leaving it late. So, is this man from Estonia, is he going to be an upset tonight? gentlemen from this part of the world but just outside of Belarus Estonia Edwin Kibbutz has come here and he's got a tough guy in front of him Yuri Abesmetni we see some of that action there taking Yuri down to the floor good knee to the body just pushing him off him Yuri to me needs to wake up in this third round if he's going to impress the judges seconds out took a knee as he took the hook in reply, so everything to play for in this third and third final round. round. But it will, but will it be the third and final round? Will there be a fourth? Nice left body kick from Yuri. Nice low kick from Yuri. Does he know that he has got it all to do? Because to me, I think he's slightly behind. Whoa! That's a slip. Like I said, I don't know. I mean, the judges, how they've been scored, but tonight the judges are bang on the money up to now. First three fights we've seen, I think the judges have been absolutely spot on. Solid knee, but in reply, Yuri Hansen, leather out. Going back for the knee, two knees there unanswered. Nice high kick coming from Edwin. Good solid low kick back from Yuri. To the clinch. Nice knee again, good body shot from Yuri. And I've always said, when the crowd go quiet for the local guy, you know, nice low kick though, that it means the other fighter is doing well. And body language is very, very crucial to understand how this sport works. You only have to see how the fighters are, how they take punishment, how they give it. And to me at the moment, I do feel that Edwin is coping really well with the 2011 Dragons champion. The rising and not stop rising star of Belarus. 
But tonight, as he bit off more than he can chew. As he underestimated his Estonian opponent. Ooh, beautiful knee. I like the way Edwin picks those knees, the round knee to the body. Nice bit of leather there into the body, though. Reply from Yuri, the crowd responding to that. Going for the knee to the head. Nice knee there from Yuri. So two minutes gone in this third round. One minute remaining. Good low kick from Yuri. Nice combination. He's stepping up his game a little bit now. But you know what? It could be one of those fights that could go an extra round again. If I was judging this, I think this could be another another extra round fight because it is close. So 30 seconds remaining now. Who wants it? So 20 seconds countdown. Yuri going for that knee to the head, just missing. Nice low kick, paid the price for missing with that high kick. Last 10 seconds now, countdown. Yuri looking like he's got it, but... End of third round. But you know what, that was a toughie. Has Yuri done enough? Has he done enough? I personally think they should do an extra round because I just felt that Yuri was a little bit, and I say this respectfully, but I do feel he was a little bit lazy in this fight, and I think he just relied on his talent a little bit too much. That was just a slip there. So we're seeing some of the action from that third round, but you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Did he just do enough at that end to just secure it? I think if they do, if they do go anyway, it will be red. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. Ladies and gentlemen, winner by unanimous right, decision. In the red corner, Yuri Basmatli! Well, a little bit mixed from the crowd, but I think mostly he just did down the last few 